as Timothy Chalamet promotes his latest film, Wonka, in London. I got an idea. Where do we start? Making chocolate, of course. E.T.'s learned his rumored lady love, Kylie Jenner's, supporting him across the pond. I'm really, really feeling uh, good about it. An eyewitness tells E.T. the beauty mogul was spotted just steps away from the actor at the Corinthia Hotel, where the press junket's being held. Kylie's fit, a strapless black leather ensemble. I'm obsessed with it. This isn't the first time the Kardashian star supported Timmy. Earlier this month, she joined him for the Saturday Night Live after party following his hosting stint. It's my second time hosting Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Kylie attended the party, but wasn't inside of 30 Rock for the show. Deep down, like, I would love my true fans to know, like, all my personal stuff. Seems like the two are going strong since sparking dating rumors in April, after showing full-on PDA at the U.S. Open and Beyonce's Renaissance concert. <laughs> a source told ET in September the pair connect on a deep level, and Kylie's confident and secure with Timothy. Quote, she feels like she can be herself with him and really likes that. I love it. And looks like Kylie's fashion sense might be rubbing off on the already stylish Timothy. Timothy Fallon! Who went shirtless for the premiere in chilly London weather. Sir, it is 40 degrees out. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. the, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, when E.T. spoke with Timothy, he said he didn't mind the sacrifice. Yeah. Is there anything you won't do for fashion? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, do it for the fashion. Do it for the yeah, fashion. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Timothy's staying in color theme for the film, which sees him rock Willy Wonka's signature purple outfit. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. The actor shared just how special it was to sport the iconic look. My initial reaction was, oh God, I hope we get this right, because now it's really happening, and this is a character that is beloved and people are very protective over films or characters they love. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna be blasphemous. But, you know, I was in the best hands with Paul King, our director. We'll see what people say, but I'm very proud of it. Very magical. Super heartwarming.